follow the axe murderer through his early career in Brazil as he stomps, kicks, headbutts, and bare knuckle punches his opponents into a bloody mess on this must have DVD. Pick up yours today at SureDog.com. Two time icon, middleweight champion, Ruthless Lar Robbie Lawler. Uh, you know, first of all, you're, you're the first uh, competitor to ever uh, win the title twice. Um, talk about that experience. Uh, out here in Hawaii, and winning the title multiple times. Um, really, I just came out here. I wasn't too worried about that. I just didn't want to take crap at home uh, by losing the trip because my uh, teammate beat him twice, actually, and I would get a lot of grief for that. Uh, I just want to wish Trick the best. He hurt pretty bad, and at first I didn't. I disliked him a lot, but he doesn't. I hope he recovers. Uh, but before the fight, we talked, and you, uh, your comment on how you thought the fight would go was that just that this is going to be fun. And uh, you know, aside from the outcome and Tree being injured, was that fun for you? Is that is that the kind of fight you like? Well, I won was the thing, and I knew his takedowns are weak after one. I let him take me down the first time. People don't realize that right to my butterfly guard, but he took me down twice right to my butterfly. Uh, I expected his ground and pound to be a lot better than that. I passed his guard pretty well. Uh, I'm going to get in even better shape than that, and uh, I'm going to be deadly the next time I fight. So I'm feeling good. Uh, talk about the shape you came into this fight. You weighed in yesterday, 184, you know, with your shoes on, as you commented. Uh, did, was this a really good training camp for you? You look to be in excellent shape. It was good. Each shoe probably weighed about probably 15 ounces, I'm guessing, uh, for my 90s. And, yeah, I felt good. Uh, I was in good shape. Really, I was eating well. I wasn't eating like a lager ass like I normally do. I was eating good portions, eating good stuff, taking my vitamins, and I felt good and I changed. How much did you train for the takedown? I mean, obviously you probably saw his fight with Masaki and what he did to Masaki. You know, he wasn't able to do that to you. You know, did, how much did you train on defending the takedown? Really, I just uh, trained the way I normally do. I just did a lot more agility stuff, a lot more jumping. I tried to be more of an athlete. Uh, the last uh, week, I concentrated more on defending takedowns, defending takedowns, defending takedowns, getting up to my feet. and. I told uh, Matt Penny, my boxing coach, I go, I'm going to let him take me down. If he gets in deep, I'm going to let him take me down because I'm going to go to my butterfly guard and keep my guard open, and I'm going to get And that's what I did. Talk, talk about the finish. Well, the thing is, is uh, I was stalking him. The last the round before that, he was chasing me with punches, lunging in, trying to catch me with knees. He was coming out, but I knew he was tired, and I was rolling with everything. But I knew I had to catch him on a three, four, and five, not just the one, two, and three. So that's what I did. I caught him with at least four clean, crisp punches and uh, one good, good one at the end. You had knocked him down earlier in the fight, I believe the second round. At, at that point, did you think it was over? Oh, uh, I knew it was pretty close to be over, but I wasn't going to rush it. The thing is, is when you hit guys with those shots, you go in there for the kill and then you get tired. I've done that before and I knew all I have to do is keep touching him like that and eventually I'll hit him with the good shots and he's going to be done. Uh, as I understand, you have a couple more fights left in your icon contract. Uh, you'll get another chance to defend your title. Um, Truto is a guy who's been uh, winning here in icon in the 185 division. What are your thoughts about a fight with him? Well, he's got good jiu-jitsu, uh, takedowns are all right. He's, he's a long guy, he's wiry, kind of a small 185-pounder. Uh, uh, if I come in good shape, I'm hard and I'm very tough to beat, so we'll see. Uh, I also want to say he had a one fight left of pride on, on contract. Uh, with the new acquisition uh, by the Fertitas, do you know how that affects you and that contract at all yet? I have no idea. I was concentrating on this one, and we'll see what happens there.